The Autism Society of Trinidad and Tobago celebrates today its 25th anniversary, but despite having hit a quarter century and helping hundreds of affected children and parents, it still remains a non-governmental organization relying on the charity of Republic Bank and donors to carry out its crucial work. During a low-key ceremony at its headquarters in Dabadi, the organization made a special appeal for more funding and support on this World Autism Awareness Day. Roger Dwaraka has some personal stories. Well, my son, whose name is Makiri Walker, he is 12 years old now. Um, I found out he was autistic when he wasn't speaking until he was five and a half years old. My son is also Calvin Asin Jr. He's 12 years and he's autistic. Now, we actually found out he was autistic when he was for four years, right? He's non-verbal and he chose a lot of tantrums. Victoria Antoine and Calvin and Abigail Assing, two families united by a complex disorder that's affected their children, but sitting on two sides of an extreme fence when it comes to how each child developed from analysis and diagnosis. He is now speaking, giving demands, <laughs> and um, really improving. He goes to a special school, Ishii's Learning Center. But that is our main challenge, controlling his seizures. Sometimes for the day you'll get, and find it, yeah. Sometimes for the day, at least he might get 30 to 40 seizures a day. Yeah. He's not in school because of that. And some of the schools are afraid of taking him because of the seizure disorder. Both families have other children who live normal lives, but it's through the help of the non-government affiliated Autism Society that they've been able to cope somewhat. It's estimated there are 600 autism affected people in the country, but the society, despite offering some education and support since 1999, needs funding. Our children with autism need access to affordable and appropriate educational and therapeutic services. Education and training for persons with autism is very limited and very expensive. There are a number of special education facilities dotted around the country that help autistic children. The ASTT is the first and last level family support network that's been solely supported by the Republic Bank for the last eight years. They've pumped $500,000 per year into helping the society keep afloat to carry out its critical work. ASD therapy is quite expensive and there are too many families constrained by, national, by financial needs to fully capitalize on it. Government and private sector support can go a long way in surmounting many of the challenges these families face. Volunteers like Mrs. Antoine also support the ASTT in unique ways. We do things like um, um, supporting the Autistic Society in gathering bottles. They, they gather glass to help to raise funds. By all accounts, this was a low-key celebration in a 25-year-old facility that's made out of two containers and a steel shed. But it's the work that's done here by the dedicated, caring individuals and volunteers that's made all the difference in the lives of so many parents. Roger Dwaraka, C News.